Morning crew, happy Monday, yay! Me and Holly had a lovely lie in this morning, didn't wake up until 8 o'clock. Well, we were awake, but we were having a nice cuddle, and I'm talking like a really, really long cuddle, it was lovely. And then she decided to say breakfast at 2 minutes past 8 in the morning, which I thought was really, really nice. So we've had our breakfast, just uploaded yesterday's vlog. Um... I've got the walking bug at the moment, so I've just like busted out my um, maps of the Brecon Beacons because my friends wanted to um, do like a challenge where you take in four peaks in the Brecon Beacons at, on the same walk and I was like, hmm, intriguing. So I've had a look at the map to see what they possibly could be and I think that I know which ones they are and it's, it's not hard walk really not for me anyway like I I enjoy hill walking and stuff and find it quite enjoyable my level of fitness is quite up anyway so yeah I think I want to do that but it's just a case of waiting for the weather to be right because no point in going in the rain because you can't see any of the views and it's just like you're walking in the rain miserable and then yeah, you want it to be a nice day really, but not like scorching, boiling hot because you'll just dehydrate and die. So yeah, it needs to be somewhere in the middle. But I haven't got any plans this morning. I need to go for my walk at some point today, but it is raining. Um, so that's not ideal, but we'll just have to get on with it, I suppose. Maybe possibly after lunch. So Holly can have a lunch and then sort of like have a little nap in the buggy with the rain covers on as we walk along. And then who knows? Who actually knows? So I watched the rest of Twilight Eclipse last night and Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1. But on Netflix they don't have Breaking Dawn Part 2, which is really annoying. But I've got the DVD box set anyway. So tonight I'll probably like set up my DVD player and watch Breaking Dawn Part 2. So I don't know what made me start watching them again. But I've really enjoyed watching them again. It's been great. So I don't think I'll ever tire of them. <laughs> this is so true. I remember them being in my January favourites a long while ago. But yeah, really enjoy them. And it's just like a bit of an odd, far-fetched story, love story, but it's just beautiful. I think they've been well done. The books are not great at all, but, but the films, I think they've done quite well out of the films. Especially the first one, considering it was like such low budget. It just captures every like essence of intensity within this relationship that shouldn't even be possible or allowed. So yeah. <laughs> uh, talking about Twilight as if I've got a degree in it. Whoa. Anyway, oh yeah guys, I wanted to say something about when you comment on my videos I, for some reason, I don't like to comment back on my phone. And I think that's a throwback from when, when I used to comment. Like, the app wasn't, like, updated or anything. And it used to create, like, a separate comment. So it wasn't replying directly to your comment. So I now I'm in the habit of going on my laptop and replying to your comments. But I maybe do that maybe about once a week. So I don't actually... It looks like I'm ignoring you. And I'm not grateful for your comments. I really, really am. It's just I always only like turn my laptop on maybe once. So, yeah. And in fact, I need to do that now because I need to upload July's favourites because as if it's August the 1st today. Get out. Oh, my word. August the 1st. Anyway, I'm going to go, guys, because I've been rambling for like nearly five minutes. Not ideal. So I'll see you later. Bye. Gang. Hi. I have been busy making a bolognese. So I always usually make a bolognese straight away and then eat it. But today I've decided to make it in the morning. 
let it all like simmer down for like 20 minutes, turn the heat off, go out for the day and then let all the flavours infuse and stuff and then reheat it tonight when I want to eat it. So I hope that it's going to be really, really tasty because there's bags of garlic in there, there's 30 ml of red wine in there, there's a stock cube in there, um, what else? Onions, um, half a yellow pepper and obviously the lean mince then, but I think there's more like onion than there is mince because I only put like a 250 gram mince in so yeah and then I got some courgettes so I'm thinking of making some courgette and then I will probably use the rest of my half of my butternut squash up and make butternut squash chips to go with rather than like a potato or pasta or something like that just keep the carbs on the loo so yeah that's pretty cool. So I've got about 15 minutes left for that and then I'm going to pop out to town and um, get some stuff. I need to get some milk, ham, fruit and washing liquid um, and I think that's about it really. I want to take some stuff to the charity shop but like uh, just if the weather's like this I don't want to be mucking around as such. I don't want to be faffing from shop to shop to shop. So I think we'll just go with what I've got for now and then I can always go and do that another day, hopefully. So, yep, that's my little morning update. See you later. Hey guys, so just queuing to get out of Tesco car park in town. Flying visit, don't even go there, mate. I'm coming out. Um, yeah, flying visit to get all the things that I needed. I don't think we've even been here for an hour. But it is just slipping past no, lunchtime mommy, now. No, mommy. What do you mean, no? It's no. It's no. Do you want Moomin? No. It is just slipping past lunchtime, and Holly is in on the moody side. Um, I'm worried. She's quite a moody child. Um, it's becoming more and more moody now than happy which makes me wonder if I'm doing something wrong um, or she's just pushing boundaries I don't really know which one but yeah it's half past 12 now so we are just slipping past lunchtime so I hope and I'm praying that she doesn't fall asleep on the way home and she stays awake to have lunch in the house because then straight after lunch I can go for my walk and then she can have her nap in the buggy and that would just make life so much easier she's figured out how to wind the window down in the back as well which is not great um, because it's raining but there we go What can I do? Mummy shush! Mummy shush, why? I must put the window. You have put the window down. Do you think you can do it back up again? Hey guys, all back and fed. I nearly falling over the bed. <laughs> yeah, it's time to go for a walk now and the weather though. It's not like hammering down, but it's definitely raining. And like, look how good my makeup is today. And it's gonna get all swashed off and hanging. Holly is in such a mood. I've made her sandwiches, won't eat them. Doesn't like the cheese, taking the cheese out, still won't eat them. <sighs> she needs to sleep basically is what the answer is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my training gear on now put her sandwiches into a lunchbox and then I usually feed them to her along the way I'm like sandwich and she's like yeah sandwich and then eats it I find she eats far more when I'm doing that than if I just put it down in front of her and let her get on with it and then hopefully she'll fall asleep and have a nap because she needs one because she's moldy but yeah I'm just looking out the window now and I'm like I don't want to go. Definitely don't want to go today. It's pretty rough. 
Anyway, guys, gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go. See you later. Hey guys, so for any of you wanting to know about my butternut squash chips, um, well, it's basically you just chop up a butternut squash. Um, I have done chunks today rather than chips. Sometimes I put them into like longer strips to make them look like chips or whatever, but I find that takes a little bit longer and I'm in a little bit of a rush this evening because I'm hungry. Um, so I just covered a baking tray with foil, sprayed the baking tray with fry lights so they don't stick, and then put them on, make sure there's like gaps in between them so they could manage to cook on all sides. Spray it again with fry light on top of that. And then this is personal preference, but I sprinkle them with the mixed spice, um, bung them in the oven. Mine's gas, so I'm on gas mark eight for 20 minutes. And then after that, I'll pull them out and turn them over to the other side, spray them again with the fry light and sprinkle them again with the mixed spice and chuck them back in the oven at gas mark eight for a further 20 minutes. Obviously in the meantime then I'm gonna be reheating my bolognese and making my courgette and putting some pasta on for Holly because Holly will have bolognese and pasta and I'll be having bolognese, courgette and butternut squash chips. So yeah, that is that. Right, see you later.